Hey Juice Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode we have this cool amazing part right here in my hand if you didn't see. Basically what it is is a face mask that you can use to go outdoors, indoors, wherever you guys want to use it that's up to you guys. Um, this is especially useful for people who need to go grocery shopping, if you guys need to go out to eat with friends, if you are just hanging out anywhere, outdoors, whatever. These are actually really useful to get any kind of face mask in general. But the one that I have right here is a special type of face mask that is reusable, it's washable, uh, it also is water repellent. And the mask itself has an antimicrobial uh, material on it, so it helps prevent the actual mask from getting germs, viruses, or whatever on the mask itself. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about the company and the mask and everything that's on the actual product itself, you guys can definitely check it out on their website or you guys can actually check them out on the Instagram page as well. And the other thing about this face mask is not like a built-in face mask where it has like the filter inside already just like the other one that I tested in the past. This one's the one where you actually need to put in your own filter in it. So let me take it out to show you guys what it looks like first and then tell you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, so when we open it up, definitely feels like a really nice material and everything. So basically for the filter part, you guys want to put inside here, if you can see right here. And the filters that I'm talking about is these right here, if you can see the PM 2.5 filters. So I'm not sure if you can see the material on here, but it is water repellent. You guys can definitely feel the material that's water repellent as well. The overall product itself is pretty nicely made and everything. It doesn't have like that little clip on here, so I'm not sure if you guys actually need the clip. So I'm actually putting it on to show you guys what it looks like and everything first. And obviously when you guys first get this mask, you guys want to wash it first before using it because you guys don't know where it's been. But for me, I already washed it, so I don't need to wash it again. So let me put it on to show you guys what it looks like first. So you're going to put it on just like this. And it should fit perfectly like that, you guys can see. It has the built-in part in the bottom where it can fit perfectly, so it just hovers over your chin just like this. Definitely get the full coverage for the bottom part, side part, and the top part as well. You guys don't really need the clip at all. There's probably like a little gap that comes out, but I think that's fine. If you guys are worried, you guys can always put your own like clip or whatever. But definitely like a nice fitting and everything. Uh, not too sure how to perform over time, but definitely as a first hand perspective of like trying it out and everything, it feels amazing. But let's go do a quick water repellent test and show you guys how to actually wash it. And we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so here we have the face mask. I'm going to show you guys how well the water repellent works on the actual product itself. All right, so let's turn on the water first. So you can see that the water comes off really, really well. You guys can see it just slips off really easily. Same thing for the other side as well. So that's pretty cool. The inside layer is obviously not water repellent, but you guys definitely need to wash the inside as well. So I'm the inside and outside, that way it is clean to use uh, for next time. And it's like really easy to clean as well. Like all you guys have to do is just wash it with some soap or just wash it just like this. If it's your first time using it, you guys don't really need to use soap. But if you guys use it multiple times, you should definitely use soap to wash the inside and outside. But you guys can see that the outside layer is definitely still water repellent. Even like right now after you rinse the inside, it's all soaked inside. Alright, so that should be good. We'll just let it air dry by hanging on a hanger and then we can use it tomorrow or whenever we want to use it again. Alright, welcome back guys. So now you guys saw the quick water repellent test and everything, you guys can see that actually does work and it works quite well. Um, the mask itself is really easy to clean and really easy to kind of use. All you guys have to do is just put it on and we guys are done using it, wash it, let it air dry and just reuse it again. But I definitely I like how this is like fitted just correctly so that it's not too loose or not too tight. At least for me, it fits perfectly for myself. But they do mention that if it's too loose, you guys to always make a knot on the actual uh, strings right here. Make it tighter, like make a knot like that. So you can make it a little bit tighter so it's like fit correctly on your ear and everything so it won't be loose. One thing to know about the product itself is the fact that this is a non-medical face mask. So if you guys are trying to look for like a medical face mask, this is not it. This is more like a cloth face mask to help you protect yourself. That also has the filter option that you can take off or on depending on if you guys need it or not. So now that we did the quick unboxing and testing of the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So obviously this one either comes in a pack of one or a pack of four if you guys buy the different color options. But it really depends on you guys if you guys really need a face mask that is water repellent and also is uh, reusable or you guys want to get the one that is disposable so you guys don't have to wash it every single time. For me, I think this is actually really worth it and actually is uh, super nice to have because you guys can save a lot of money. Instead of buying a new face mask every single time, you guys can use the same one over and over. The only thing that you guys probably need to buy is the new filter if you guys want to use the filter options but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have no use for one of these 
then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually you do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the quick unboxing and testing of the product itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you just want to see more, then make sure to click on that notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today, G Squad fan shout out, there we have.